Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, if you are new here, remember to go ahead and click that subscribe button below um, so you'll always be notified of when I, put, when I post a new video. Um, so I'm going to be talking about today the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. Um, what this is, it's a nourishing foundation. It gives you kind of like a dewy look on your skin is what it claims. Um, it does have coconut milk and aloe, aloe extract inside of it. It is also vegan, which CoverGirl just recently, not too long ago, um, went they did like all, they're doing their products all natural and like vegan and all that kind of stuff. I know there are a few products that are not completely like that, but the majority of their products now are like that. Um, so yeah, this is the CoverGirl foundation. Um, so let me kind of go into details with you guys about the foundation and kind of what it says it does and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so like I said, it is vegan. So it says it's formulated without talk, paraben, parabens, uh, formaldehyde, phthalates, can never say that word, I'm going to have to look it up. <laughs> but I can tell you a lot of products don't have that in them lately. Uh, mineral oil, um, sulfates, and fragrance. So it doesn't have any of those things in here. Um, also, okay, so it says, it, it says that it blurs imperfections, it evens out your skin tone, sheer buildable coverage and it does have sheer buildable coverage because obviously I have it on my skin right now which I'm going to show you guys me putting it on my skin but um this is the third time I've used it and every time that I've used it the three times that I've used it I put two layers of it on because it is very sheer and I can kind of see some imperfections in my skin so I did add a second layer um so it's instant and all day hydration um it, it does the first time two times I put it on i but I've been using this um, Wet n Wild Cucumber Primer Water to prime my face before and, and then to set my face. But I'm kind of goofy and I forgot to put it on before I put the foundation on. And then I forgot to set my face with it. So I don't have it on today. But the first two times that I put it on, my skin looked really good. So I, I don't really know. This says it's dewy and like gives you that hydrated look. So I'm not sure if it was this or that. But we'll see. Because <laughs> I don't have the... Um, I don't have the primer on today, so we'll find out. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much what it says. You know, it just blurs imperfections, evens out your skin tone, which it does. Um, but anyways, let me stop talking and we'll just go ahead and get into the video and you guys can see me try the foundation on my skin. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I am gonna start applying the foundation. I'm gonna um, apply the foundation to this side of my face with a brush. And then I'm gonna apply the foundation to this side of my skin with a sponge. So we kind of get a different look of like how the foundation is gonna look or how it's gonna apply with the brush and then how it's gonna apply with the sponge. Because I didn't think about this before, but it does actually make a difference. Um, sometimes with the sponge, the it will absorb some of the foundation so you don't get a lot on your skin. And then with the brush, you kind of get a little bit more. Well, this is what I've noticed with myself. Um, and I've also heard other people say the same thing. So let's go ahead and see. We'll see side by side of how, how it's going to look. So, and I apologize. My voice is a little raspy today. I'm just kind of getting over a little cold. So just to let you guys know what's going on there. I have used this foundation two times already. Um, it, I can tell you from what I've, you, when I use it so far and like right now using it, it has a really nice feel to it. It's very lightweight. Um, it's a thin formula. It's not very thick. You can kind of see it there how it's just, it's, yeah, it's not very thick, which is a good thing because, well, it depends. <laughs> you know, the thicker the foundation is probably going to give you a little bit more coverage just because it's got more consistency to it. Um, and then a lightweight is probably going to give you a little bit less, but this is not always true. It's just, you know, sometimes. So that's how it's looking with one layer of it on. I'm gonna go ahead and put another one because for me, I just personally need a little bit more coverage. I have a little um, redness on my skin here, so I wanna make sure I cover everything up. The color, also the color that I'm using this foundation in is, let me tell you, okay, it's 550 light, oh, light medium. I had this upside down and I was squeezing it and it was coming out. So yeah, 550 light medium. Okay, I gotta remember to use the brush. It's 
So yeah, it's giving me a little bit more coverage. Has a really good feel to it. Okay, I think that looks good. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. This is how it's looking with when I applied two layers with the brush and then this is with nothing on. So you kind of get an idea of how much coverage it's given me so far. Um, then let's go ahead and try with a sponge. I really can't tell like a major difference so far as which one applies it better. I mean, it seems about the same to me. I'm just gonna do the same thing. I put a little extra on the side like I did the other side. Make everything even. So this is how it's looking with the, the sponge side. I actually think it looks a little bit smoother when I applied it on this side with the sponge than this side. So well, we'll see. Okay, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back with you guys and then kind of talk about um, the product and what I think so far, okay? I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching that. That, that, I don't know, I am so just out of whack today, like, I don't even know, I haven't filmed a video <laughs> in, like, a week, and I feel like I have forgotten everything, and I'm kind of getting over a cold, and I feel like I've just completely, like, lost my brain, <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but anyways, so yeah, thanks for watching me put the makeup on my face, like, you wanted to hear me say that, so, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so, CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. So you guys saw me put it on my skin. It feels really good. That's probably like the number one thing I want to say about it. It feels great. Like it feels so lightweight. I mean, I put two layers of it on and like I don't really feel like I have anything on. Now kind of looking in, when I look at the, <clears throat> excuse me, when I look in the mirror, it doesn't look too light. But when I'm looking at my camera, it looks light. I don't know why it looks so light. I don't know if my settings, no, my settings look okay on my camera. I'm not really sure why. It looks kind of white. Um, but in person it looks fine so I'm not sure what's up with that but um, yeah it has a really good feel to it um, I'm trying to think what else I can say about it coverage wise it doesn't say does it it says I want to see if it says like medium to buildable coverage it definitely from my point of view it's got medium coverage it doesn't it's not full coverage at all it's um it's not, yeah, it's not full coverage at all. I had to put two layers of it on. It definitely evened out my skin tone once I did the two layers. I got to read back and see what it says to make sure that everything it's saying it does to see if it really does it. Instant and all day hydration. Like I said, I've used it two times before and it did keep my skin hydrated. I don't really usually put foundation under my eyes, but I felt like my eyes didn't look really dried out neither. But then again, it could be the concealer that I have on. Um... But normally, like, in this area here, and then here I'll get really dried out. And I felt like when I would use this, it didn't get like that. But you, that's just me saying that. You probably want to see how it really looks. So <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and close this video out. Not this video. <laughs> this part. And then what I'll do is I'll just check back in with you guys throughout the day. And you guys can kind of see for yourself how it actually looks and how it's really holding up. And not just my word. Because <laughs> I could be lying, right? No, I'm not lying. <laughs> But, um, but I do have lipstick all over my teeth, so it's not coming off. So I'll be back, guys. I'll be back. And hopefully when I come back, I'll have my mind straight together. I don't know. I'll find my brain. Maybe I'll pick it up off the floor wherever I lost, <laughs> wherever I left it. I'm back. Okay, guys, so I'm back. It is almost 9.30 right now. 
I originally put this makeup on at 1.30, so it's been about eight hours. Um, I've been through, I'm trying to think, well, I haven't really been through a lot today, but I just did like a normal day. And then um, this evening, I was outside for about two hours at baseball practice. So this is kind of how it's looking right now. Um, let me see, let me look in the mirror and kind of like look up close to kind of give you guys or tell you guys what I think. Um, it's, it definitely, like throughout the day, it did get do, kind of dewy, like it didn't, um, it, it wasn't really drying on my skin, it looked like my skin had a like nice glow to it. So yeah, it looked like my skin had a nice glow to it, which is what it says the product does. It says that it is a dewy finish, which it definitely did. Um, it felt really lightweight, which I told you guys in the beginning of the video, it felt lightweight when I was putting it on, and then throughout the day it felt really lightweight. Uh, as far as the way it held up, I think it held up pretty good. I mean, it's not like a heavy duty foundation, it's just kind of like a light foundation. So, um, like I did say earlier, I put the two layers on. Um, I think it held up pretty well. I mean, yeah, there's like, it, it's still covering up my pores pretty good. I have a little, I have like um, creasing here, you can see it in my little nose line here where the makeup is kind of fading away, but you have to understand I've had it on for eight hours. Um, I did notice that in my forehead area really started to get kind of shiny um, earlier on during the day, but it was just the forehead area. Um, so, what else? I'm trying to think. I mean, I don't really think there's much, too much else to say. It kind of, I don't want to say it's like breaking up here. It's just for my smile line. So I have a little line from smiling, but that's not necessarily anything to do with the foundation. I hate when I get so close up because I feel like I'm so close to the camera. So yeah, but I mean, I, it looks good, you know? I feel like no matter what foundation you wear, if you have it on, you know, for eight hours, at the end of the day, it's just gonna be like a little bit coming off and this and that. It's just normal, it's just part of makeup. And especially I live in Florida, so um, today was, lately it's been cold, today was not really a cold day, so, you know, if you're hot, if it's hot and it's out, you're outside in the sun, your makeup is gonna kinda tend to like melt a little bit. Uh, melt a little bit depending on where you're at. If it's cold outside, your makeup will probably last a little bit longer. So, but overall, I would say that it held up really well, and this is just the results after the eight hours. So I hope this helped guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, remember to go ahead and click that subscribe button below. And um, if you are one of my followers, thank you so much for all of your support. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.